Hi there, I'm Fiona Sherlock and I'm going to read some poems from my new collection inside and out for you today. Uh, you can see the link below to pre-order a copy for yourself. The Crows of Bective Abbey. The abbess looks at me askance and nibbles the kit cat tinfoil. She has waited 800 long years, turned into a bird. She watches and she waits. She admires the tourist crowds and the change of tempo, but still misses her body, the feel of the wet cloistered grass under her soft pink human feet. The abbess is not alone. There is a murder of crows about this old ruin. Monks and millers, trout anglers and rat catchers all gathered here at the abbey. Beyond the Boyne, I see Crockett's Bar, 265 years ago. Carriage stops. An overexposed barouche, its passengers damp. The first proprietor, I picture, knew who could repair a carriage wheel. He prepared a warm bowl of broth for the journeyman and his lady. Source is a doctor, a medicine man. It's an incurable pre antibiotic of fever that takes her. This now feathered lady lurks in the oak tree. My daughter is too. She runs up and down the ramparts. She does not know what has been caught in the stone. She examines pebbles in her fat little fingers and too tall am I at five feet two for these laneways, openings and stairwells. Unlike the hunched monks carrying crooks and candles or water to make up the ink. This gravel was laid by the Office of Public Works to prevent lawsuits and muddy boots. It sieves through those who pass through. Not well to do, escape artists, drug addicts, young drinkers, cans, needles, human waste, a calippo wrapper. A crisp packet, nondescript pieces of plastic. Evidence that will lurk for the next thousand years. And what does the future hold if the planet has only ten years left to live? Is it the winter, the last gasping breath of Beck to Valley? These rooks see more than us. Backwards and forwards over aeons of time. And they know <laughs> we are on the cusp of destruction. The abbess calls to me, a little hand takes mine. That's the crows of Bective Abbey.